I'm working with the Philco Safari, the world's first battery powered television, 1959. And this particular model uh, had a very scratched piece of glass here. <clears throat> the glass is called a beam splitter. And that's what the tech the uh, tech manual calls the the glass and it's very susceptible to being scratched when you clean it so this is what mine looked like when I got it <clears throat> off of eBay and you can see the uh, scratched surface pretty poorly I mean pretty obviously um, and uh, as a result you're going to see a video clip of a uh, honeymooners clip just a segment before and after what I've done is I went on Amazon and I found a piece of acrylic see-through mirror and I, uh, I think I paid $15 for this and I cut it to the exact measurements of this original beam splitter and um, this particular piece um, is a, I think considered 70-30 and if I'm, I'm taking the material off of both sides here. One side is um, more of a mirror this side is a mirror and this side is a see-through so you can see that it does darken and I think they say it darkens about 30 percent um, but that's typical of this because it's got a mirrored surface on uh, to allow the image to be reflected at 45 degrees so I took a piece of this material and put it in into the uh, Safari and I'm going to show you the before and after the brightness is perfect it uh, really revolutionizes the viewing of the uh, television and I'm sure that most of these units that are in existence today have a scratched beam splitter so this is a simple way inexpensive way to replace that lens and notice too the thickness of the original is probably four millimeters maybe five see how thick it is there and this material of course is just a fraction of that thickness so what I did was there's a retainer bar on the bottom and up on the top and you can't see it in the darkness here and I used some double-sided foam tape to pad the bar just to keep it from rattling and I don't think it would be a problem anyway but I put some on the bar on the bottom and put some on the bar on the top and then when I screw that back in it gently holds that piece of acrylic in place and it replaces the need for this rubber gasket so take a look at the video and I think you'll see a remarkable difference in the um, quality of the of the video Hello, let's investigate oh, these